Healing World Network. I'm here with John Fiore on our Day of Healing. I'm so pleased to have John with us. John is going to be spending some time showing us emotional freedom technique, often known as EFT. It's a therapeutic healing tool that can be done with children up to geriatric folks. So all ages can really benefit from this technique. So John, thank you for being here and the floor is yours. Thank you, Dr. Ruth. I'm actually going to um, show everybody the tapping points because we're going to do a hot focus meditation. Um, I don't know if everyone is aware of the intelligence that the heart holds. It has 40,000 uh, brain like cells of its own. And um, if, we're, if we're used to clearing the distortions of the mind and we don't focus on the heart, we could be missing a lot of energy blocks that really not, might not be serving us very well in our present life. So I thought that focusing on the heart while doing a little tapping would help people to perhaps make some discoveries about uh, what might be not serving them very well in their life today. And um, it, it, it's a very calming, soothing meditation. And um, would you like me to start? Yes, you just go. Okay. So what I suggest everybody does is um, first understand the tapping points. Uh, the first one we would use is tapping on the top of your head and you could move and you do it with all your fingers and move it around like a monkey. Okay. And the next point would be the beginning of the eyebrow point. And the next point would be on the side of the eye on the bone. And what we're doing here is we're using the meridians, the meridian map. These are the main meridians on the body that help move energy. We're giving our energy or emotional system a shot of WD-40. We're smoothing out. We're putting our brain into a calmer state, okay? By just focusing on what is and tapping. The next point would be under the eye, on the, on the bone, on the top of the cheek. And the next point is under the nose. And the next point is in the chin, in the crease of the chin. And the next point is pretty important, the K27. Uh, right underneath the collarbone, you're gonna feel a soft fleshy area. So if you hit it with four fingers, you'll get it. It's just off to the center or below the, the, that knuckle bone on your collar there. And the next point would be in the ribs. For you gals, it's where the bra strap goes. For a guy, it's a, it's a whole hand length below the armpit in the ribs. And that's a round of tapping. Again, on the top of the head, beginning of the eye, the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, crease of the chin, under the collarbone, and in the, and in the armpit. Now, if you miss a point, it's okay. If you go out of sequence, it, it really doesn't matter. We use the side of the hand point to declare in traditional EFT what is going on, even though I'm feeling fearful, even though I'm feeling out of place whatever it is that's in the forefront of your mind. And we accept that we're feeling it. I want, I'd like everybody to understand by just doing that, by just being honest with yourself, with compassion, is really what releases negative energy to universe, God, source, what, however you choose to perceive God. Um, by declaring your compassionate truth and releasing it, Again, I've listened to, I channel myself, but I've listened to at least a dozen different channels, Abraham, Stream of David, Pamela Busby, different channels. And they all agree with bringing up the truth of what is, if you're feeling afraid, if you feel like you're never gonna get ahead, I'm just trying to give you examples. Whatever it is that you're feeling, call it, call it to the light and, and just be compared and say, 
even though I'm feeling this, or maybe I don't want to feel it, but this is the truth of what I'm feeling. You're, you're, bring, you're showing yourself compassion. And this is what releases negative energies in your emotional system. So you could go around doing that all the time and you don't even have to tap. You could just call it to your awareness. Even though I'm feeling fearful all the time, I'm frightened and anxious. Uh, you know, I choose to feel better. Just bring, give yourself some acceptance and self-compassion. And that's what's going to help you. I mean, this is, this is the crux of EFT, self-compassion. So the tapping, we're not going to use the side of the hand point. We're just going, going to tune into what we're sensing in our heart. And we're going to do a little bit of tapping. And um, it might help to clear. I suggest that everyone take a little bit of notes on what's coming up for you. And um, if, you, if you don't sense anything, if you have trouble seeing what your heart or sensing what your heart looks like, it's okay. Just do the best you can. You're not doing anything wrong. It's not that you're, you know what? Some people don't visualize as easy as others. It's okay, whatever you're getting or not getting. But if you had to even make a, a, a mental picture of what it would look like, you could tap on that. It's all in the energy field, guys. And the more tapping you do with it, it'll just naturally calm the amygdala, that fight or flight part of your brain, and just give you a little bit of stress reduction. And, you know, who can't use that? So, Dr. Ruth, I'm going to start here. We, we should all start by closing our eyes and shifting our focus from your mind to your body. I would, I suggest everybody takes a nice deep breath and relaxes in your chair. And you sh we can feel ourselves resting in our chair and notice how wonderful our breath feels as you inhale and exhale. Take a few deep breaths, allow yourself to relax more with each breath. Imagine that you are taking in pure, fresh air and filling your lungs completely. As you exhale, just allow the tension you have in your body to begin to melt and drift gently down into the earth below you. So just imagine, guys, this beautiful white light entering from God's source coming through your body, all the way down your body, through your legs, from your feet, into the center of the earth. And, and imagine that this white light goes to the center of the earth and circles back and comes up through your body so that you're grounded and you're connected with source energy. Now just take a few loving breaths, nourishing and nurturing yourself more with each inhale and feeling the loving energy flowing throughout your body. Yeah, because I'm a bit deep here. Okay, thank you. If you have thoughts running through your head, you can now take a moment to clear the thoughts with the breath by sending pure, clear, clear energy into the mind. Allow the thoughts to simply drift away. Notice how your, your mind feels clearer with each breath. Now focus your attention on your heart. Imagine that you can visualize your heart like a valentine and notice how it looks. Guys, it can look like a valentine. It could look like an anatomical heart. Just sense what your heart looks like. Okay, it's all you got to do. Breathe, relax. Don't, don't take on any stress that you're not sensing anything. Just relax. If it had to look like something, remember, your heart is reflecting what your, your life is like right now. Let's put it that way. Okay? How is your heart feeling? Is it tired? Is it sad? Is it joyful? We're not looking for trouble. If your heart is joyful, that's fine. So let's try and get a visual on what our, what the color of our heart. What would that be? And just tap. Okay. The color of my heart is this. 
And that's just what I'm sensing. And just tap through. The color of my heart is, and that's just what I'm sensing. And take a deep breath. The color of my heart is, and it's just what I'm sensing. Just put in the appropriate color for you. It could be red, it could be any color, whatever's coming to you. And don't worry about the meaning of it in your conscious mind. Your soul knows, your higher self knows what to do with this. So just tap on that color. This is what you call tapping on metaphors. Okay, the color of my heart is whatever it is. And that's just what I'm sensing. My higher self knows exactly what to do with it. The color of my heart is this. And my higher self knows what to do with it. Oh, chin point, get into the collarbone and get into the ribs. And just blow that out. It's okay. Just let it go. Next, you want to focus on how would your heart feel physically right now? Is it rested? Is it tired? Is it lonely? Is it weary? Just focus on that. If, it, if your heart had a physical sensation, what would it be? Tune into that. You could take notes on this because... If you notice a shift later, that would mean that some energy has cleared. So if, you know, if your heart, whatever your heart is feeling physically, just tap and tune into that. It, I'm feeling this and that's just what I'm sensing. Very simple. Take a deep breath after each point that you're tapping on. Eyebrow point. My heart is feeling this, and that's just what I'm feeling. Side of the eye, my heart is feeling this, and that's just what I'm feeling. Nice deep breath. Under the eye, on the cheek, top of the cheekbone. My, my heart is feeling physically whatever it is, and that's just what I'm sensing. Just draw compassion on your, on your heart, guys. Giving your heart a break right now. Under the nose. In the crease of the chin, tap. Tune into that physical sensation. Underneath the collarbone. And in the, and in the, the ribs. All right, take a deep breath and imagine releasing anything that's not serving you. If you have a joyful feeling heart, that's fine, guys. We're not looking for trouble. <laughs> okay, if your heart had an emotion, guys, tune into that. What would that emotion be? Is it sad? Is it lonely? How does your heart feel right now? With all that you've been through in your life, with all that's going on in your present life, what is your heart feeling emotional? And tune into that and tap. When you see me burping like that, that means we're, um, I'm moving energy and, and I'm picking up on somebody that's moving something. So my heart feels like this and that's just how I feel and I'm willing to show myself some love that's the language guys you're giving yourself some love and compassion here for all you've been through and tap on the beginning of the eyebrow my heart is feeling this and my higher self knows exactly what to do here side of the eye my heart is feeling this and my soul knows what to do for me. Underneath the eye, 
my heart is feeling this. And my soul knows what to do for me. Under the nose, my heart is feeling this. And my higher self knows exactly what to do to heal me. Underneath the collarbone. My heart feels like this. And I don't know, have to know what to do. My, my soul knows how to heal me. My, whole, my soul, my higher self knows exactly what I need to do to heal. Okay? Now, this is something you could do anytime, guys. Just tap and give yourself some compassion. Be truthful. Be honest with yourself. All right. Now, we could release that. Let it go. Now, guys, tune into what shape your heart would be. Does it look like a heart? Does it look like, metaphorically, does it have a, a shape? Uh, does it look like a, a rock? Does it, you know, whatever comes to your mind, it's okay. And don't be afraid if you notice anything, like anything like uh, swords, daggers, anything like that. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're damaged or anything like that. It's just a metaphor for what your heart is experiencing, okay? What is the shape of your heart? Does it look like a heart or does it look like something else? My heart looks like this to me and that's just what I'm sensing. And my higher self knows exactly what to do for me. My heart looks like this. That's just what I'm sensing and my higher self knows what to do. And keep tapping through guys, tuning into what your heart looks like, taking nice deep breaths as you do. Under the nose, crease of the chin, under the collarbone, you could use two hands or one hand, it doesn't matter. And get into the ribs. Take a deep breath and just send beautiful white light to your heart right now. On your exhale, release what doesn't serve you, what's not working for you, okay? Next thing I want you to focus on is is how do the edges of your heart look? Tune in now, really tune into that and see, do you notice any blemishes, any, any black spots, anything? Does it look like a rope? Does it look like it's outlined in glitter? What does it look like to you? Okay, you don't have to put any meaning into this with your conscious mind. Your soul knows what to do with this, guys. Just tap. This is what I'm sensing the edges of my heart look like. This is what I'm sensing. My, my higher self knows what to do. All right, eyebrow. My higher self knows what to do with this, these edges. I'm noticing the edges of my heart look like this. I don't consciously know what that means, but my higher self knows what to do. Under, under the eye, under the nose, crease of the chin, collarbone. Nice deep breath, guys, in the ribs and release. Let go of that. And when you're writing this stuff down, later on, you want to tune into it in your conscious perception of what did that mean? Oh, it might mean the time when I suffered that terrible event in my life. Whatever comes to you, okay? This is your higher intelligence at work, guys, your higher self. So nothing is right or wrong with this. I mean, nothing is wrong. You can't make a mistake with this stuff. 
if you're getting nothing, it's okay. It's okay. Something may come to you in your sleep. Something may come to you a week from now. It doesn't matter, okay? Don't put any kind of undue pressure on yourselves with this. All right, now I'd like everybody to focus on their heart and see if there are any cracks or holes in it. Make note of that. Are there any cracks or holes in your heart? And if there are, what does that mean? Perhaps it means you were abused or you were hurt many times in your life. It might have a meaning like that. If your heart is whole and pure and happy, that's fine. Okay, whatever you're perceiving your heart to look like, does it have any holes or cracks? And let's just tap on whatever you're sensing. Pick up on that and tap. And move white light into that area. Just keep tapping. My heart looks like this, and that's what I'm sensing. Tap under the nose. My heart looks like this. And that's just what I'm sensing. Okay, get in the ribs, clear it out. Nice deep breath. Okay, when your heart beats, guys, does it beat softly? Does it beat very hard? Does it beat in a stressful way or does it beat in a peaceful way? And if you can't feel into this, if you had to imagine how it's beating, just jot that down and tap on that. If I had to imagine, my heart would be beating like this. If I had to imagine it, this is what it would be for me. Side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose. Crease of the chin. Imagine how you, your, your heart sounds. Is it out of rhythm? Okay. Okay, guys, now just, just bring your awareness and think, just be aware if there's anything else that you have to be aware of right now. What's coming to you? What do you need to release in your, in your life? Is it a fear? Is it a fear that you might not have enough money? What is it that you need to release? Call it to mind right now and ask your higher self, God, source, universe, to help you with this so you could release it. What is this, what is this lingering feeling or belief that you have? You'll never get ahead. You'll never meet the right mate. Whatever it is that's going on in your world, I want you to call it to mind and let it release through the top of your head. Give it to God, okay? You've heard, all heard the saying, let go, let God. Give your, give your worries and, 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 and limiting feelings to God right now, but call them to your attention and let them release, okay? And just take a nice deep breath, put your both hands on your heart and take three nice deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're getting ready to wrap up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And start to feel yourself sitting in your chair. You could open your eyes and feel your arms, feel your arms and your legs. Put your feet on the ground and make sure you're feeling the floor. Make sure you're aware of where you are. And just make a nice comeback, guys.
Dr. Root, simple hard focus meditation. That was that was fabulous, John. Thank you. Back, yeah, it's tapping on metaphors. Um, I'd like everybody to know it's so simple. If you can't put into words what you're feeling, you've heard, you know what, I feel like I just got hit with a truck, right? If you can't put it into words, you could tap on that stuff and it will give you the same results. As a matter of fact, I think the human mind works better when we look at landscapes or metaphors better than words because we understand that stuff since our inception. So tapping on metaphors is a good way to clear junk out of your life. You know, I feel like uh, my life, you know, I feel like my, li my life is a one big uh, pile of, uh, you know, garbage, whatever, whatever comes to you, guys, I want you to use a metaphor or, a, or an image. You know, my heart looks like a battlefield. My life feels like a battlefield. You tap on that stuff, you're going to get the same results or better than using words. Be, but be honest with yourself all the time. Honest and compassionate. Dr. Ruth, that's pretty much it for me. I love it. That, thank, you. Um, thank you. I learned a lot from you doing this with you. So thank you so much. You're welcome. If, if folks want to follow you or contact you, how do they do that? Um, I'm all over Facebook. Uh, John, I got this crazy middle name, John Thaddeus Fiore. I'm named after St. Jude, who was an apostle of Jesus. Uh, my mom gave me that name when I was uh, count confirmed, and you know what? It just stuck with me. And so now I'm using it. I used to be ashamed of it, but I have a website, johnthaddeusfiore.com. You're going to see pictures of baseball players because I work a lot with athletes. But spiritual healing and um, energy healing is my baby. I help people with all kinds of performance issues, everything. So they can find me on Facebook, Ruth, and they can message me privately or go to my website or even email me at johnsbeacheft at yahoo.com. But Dr. Ruth, I want to thank you for this opportunity uh, today to join you guys. And I hope this brought a little peace to everybody. Well, it did. I, I was using it myself after a long day of sitting with different folks. It, it was sure. a sure wonderful it was relief. It was, it was a wonderful relief for me. So thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, Dr. Ruth. Of course. So to all of our friends over in Facebook and YouTube, thank you for being with us. Stay tuned for more healing sessions on Enlightened World Network, and God bless. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Ruth. Bye-bye now.